hey, hey, and welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Industrial Packaging Podcast with me, your host, Nathan Duby, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. I am super excited about today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, and the reason for that is today's topic is going to be how to save up to 50% on your stretch wrapping cost right now, today, with the simple investment of $100. Does that sound like something that you would like to do? If you listen to my podcast, then chances are your answer is yes. So without wasting any time, I want to get right down to today's topic. So let's hop in to the secret sauce that'll give you the ability to cut costs on your stretch wrapping by up to 50%. Are you purchasing machinery or materials for your packaging line? Feeling a bit of pressure to cut costs or save as much money as possible while also keeping a smooth running line? Chances are you've always been focused on reducing costs whenever possible. But in today's world, with so many businesses coming out of long periods of downtime, cutting costs is a top concern for practically everyone. There's extra pressure from upper management these days to figure out how to save your company money. You probably ask yourself on a daily basis, how can I cut costs today? We know that the responsibilities of purchasing personnel today are stressful. Here at Industrial Packaging, we've worked with purchasing departments for decades to optimize their packaging lines and save them money. That is why in today's episode, we are going to give you a few helpful cost-saving tips, specifically if you're running a Lantex stretch wrapper, although this information is pertinent to other brands of stretch wrappers as well. We are going to help you save between 20 and 50% on stretch wrapping film costs. Want to see proof of this in action? Click on the link in the description below for a case study that we created based on this very experience. Before we get started, we have to understand stretch wrapping film costs. If you have been buying stretch wrapping film for a while, you understand that there are many different types of stretch film. You would also understand that specific differences between films such as gauge and roll length affect the cost of your films. Generally speaking, the higher the gauge, the more costly the roll of the film. The cost per roll will also increase the wider the roll is. Using thinner gauges will save you money. Now, with that being said, I would like to note that while many packaging companies suggest using lower gauges to reduce price, some believe in using higher gauges and removing revolutions around the pallet, which can also help to decrease costs. Done properly, and this can result in higher containment force with less spins around the pallet and a lower cost. When using higher gauge films, there is also less chance of the film breaking or tearing, so there's also less waste. Less waste equals dollars saved. Moving on from there, let's take a look at the role that stretch wrapping machinery plays in this equation. Depending on the type of stretch wrapper you have, you may or may not be able to run the full variety of stretch films. Not all machines can handle higher gauge films well, and many machines cannot run thin films, that is 45 gauge or less, without specific optimization of the machinery and operational protocols. If your company is using thin films, continual preventative maintenance is key, more so than if you are running heavier gauge films, that is 57, 63, or 70 gauge. To save money here, you can either run thin films and have a preventive maintenance plan in place, or run thicker films and pay retail for break-fix applications. As for which option is best for you to save money, that is based upon the volume of the wrap you are wrapping and the type of stretch wrapper you are using. Load containment is another variable to consider when looking at the cost of running stretch film and looking for opportunities to reduce waste and cost. Load containment ensures the load is secured in place so that it can be shipped safely to the intended destination of delivery. This process involves three items. One, the number of wraps on your load. Two, the force of the wrapping, that is the amount of force applied on your stretch film. And three, the gauge of your film. To achieve maximum load containment, you must have a solid understanding of the different types of loads and their containment factors. There are three variations of unitized loads. These are organized by the types of containers or products being shipped and how they sit on top of the pallet. These types include A profile loads. This type of load has a uniform shape and will have no protruding items present. They are easy to wrap and often feature similar types of containers and items loaded together. Next we have B profile loads. This type of load is not as uniform and they may have puncture hazards present with less than three inches. They often have odd or irregular stacking patterns. Finally, we have C profile loads. These are by far the most difficult type of load to palletize. This type of load contains serious puncture hazards in excess of 3 inches. They are usually made up of mixed items that are often assembled in distribution centers for retail organizations, for example, supermarkets, department stores, and so on. Many factors come into play when it comes to easy user-friendly containment practices. Firstly, length times width times height. A larger width times height makes load containment easier. When it comes to height, things can go either way. 
The height of a pallet may increase or decrease load containment depending on the weight as well as the perimeter. Ease of wrapping is based upon how the pallet is packed. When wrapping pallets, you often have someone doing the work manually. Manual wrapping is when a human being wraps the film multiple times around the packages on the pallet with a hand tool called a stretch wrap dispenser. The issue with this is that doing it this way is much slower and therefore more expensive. A human worker can only stretch the film at an average of about 10 to 20 percent. Mechanical stretch wrapping adds between 2 to 300 percent to your stretch length. That equates to major cost savings because you are using less film. Using mechanical stretch wrapping means that you are getting highly consistent load containment. The bottom line is that your products will arrive safely and securely at your customer's location. By using a stretch wrap machine, you'll minimize film use and physical labor. These are two soft costs that help save you money on your stretch wrapping. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, sorry about that, but I just wanted to make sure you guys are paying attention because the next bit here is the most important part of this podcast. I'm going to tell you how to reduce stretch film cost by between 20 and 50% with the investment of only $100. Are you ready? All right, here we go. All the tips and tricks above are great ways to reduce your stretch wrapping cost. But that being said, what's next is the secret sauce to your cost saving success. If you currently run a Lantech stretch wrapper, and there are other brands that this is pertinent to, but specifically we're talking about Lantex, it has a gear system inside that is made to last for the entire life of the machine under proper usage. Here is the thing though. You can upgrade these gears for about 100 bucks and reduce film costs by 20 to 50%. Let me repeat that. You can upgrade these gears for about $100 and reduce your film cost by between 20 to 50%. How is this possible, you may wonder? Glad you asked. Most stretch wrappers come with a standard 200% pre-stretch gear. Therefore, 10 feet becomes 30 feet when stretched. For around $100, you can buy upgraded gears. We would recommend 250% and 300% gears to replace the standard ones and test the loads with your current film or films that will provide the best performance with the new gears. This can be done by contacting one of our reps to determine which films to test. Now, this could equate to a 20 to 50% reduction in film costs. They may even have higher performance films that are lighter weight but perform equally as well with the potential for more savings than that. This incredibly simple upgrade to your gears translates to fewer changeovers of rolls of stretch film, fewer pallets to store in your warehouse, fewer empty roll cores to dispose of, and a lower cost per load of items wrapped. So with this knowledge, you will need to know the model and the serial number of your wrapper prior to working with a packaging professional to help you analyze and swap out your gears. Talk to your representative from your chosen packaging vendor because they will have the tools that can monitor your production line in real time. This way you can see instantly what your rate of pallets wrapped is and if you're hitting your target. You won't have to wait for the end of the day or till lunch to crunch your numbers and you will be able to see your potential cost savings quickly. Making the simple upgrade to your gears and your equipment will almost always save you a significant amount of money. I can't stress that enough. This is a relatively simple upgrade and one of which many buyers do not consider or in many cases are completely unaware of. If you are interested to see if your make and model of stretch wrapper qualify for these gear upgrades, please consider reaching out to one of our packaging experts. They will be able to help you figure out if your machine has the appropriate gear system for this simple yet cost saving upgrade. Now, if you are not currently running a Lantech stretch wrapper and are due for an upgrade, you are going to want to seriously consider moving to a Lantech machine for your stretch wrapping needs. Lantech is one of the only brands that allows for this gear upgrade and therefore you can only get these epic cost savings from a Lantech stretch wrapper and a few other brands. We here at Industrial Packaging can help you find the right vendor for this equipment even if we are not the vendor that you ultimately do business with. We are here to help you buy the right equipment from the right people for your unique packaging needs. And once again, we have reached the end of an episode of the Industrial Packaging Podcast with me, your host, Nathan Duby, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. I do hope that you will tune in for the next episode where we're going to be talking about common shrink wrap problems and how to solve them. But until then, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.